Hey everyone. I almost didn't make it because the friggin' traffic, rush hour traffic sucks. But here we are at the Westminster burial ground and catacombs in downtown Baltimore. And we're gonna go have a look at Poe, Edgar Allan Poe's grave and the graveyard cemetery it's really cool so this is like a little field trip in a way and we're just gonna go in here and check it out um once baltimore's the most prestigious cemetery 25 people from the war of 1812 General Samuel Smith, General John Stricker, and John Stuart Skinner, uh, David Poe Sr. He was the grandfather of writer Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, so this place closes at five. I don't know how good they are with keeping the Thing. So this is Maria Poe Clem, right here, and there's the plaque. You can see here, but the uh, funny thing about this, Virginia Clem, and then here's Edgar Allan Poe's. You'll notice that this is so. Uh, faded because people do rubbings of this um, particular side. Um, thank you, Shannon T. I appreciate that. They do rubbings of this side all the time. You can see <clears throat> how you can even see specks of uh, charcoal because people are always rubbing this tourists and such. But Poe was not always buried at this spot. And that's the interesting thing. When he became really famous, the church decided to move his grave, which is, we're gonna go back here and see where he was originally buried. They decided to move the grave up front here. So it had a place of prominence right at the front gate. I think it's a pr it was a pretty good decision myself. Also, uh, there used to be the Poe Toaster, which who would come every, January, uh, I always forget, is it January 7th or something? Uh, he would come and lay a bottle of cognac and roses here at the grave. They used to watch him from, I believe over here, and sometimes, oh, they would watch him from in inside the church. The thing was, people kept photographing him and trying to find out who it was, and it totally ruined everything because the Poe Toaster ended up being a guy and his son that did it every year and he discontinued the practice because people just couldn't leave it alone. They had to get night footage of him and secret photos and people were hiding in cars out here trying to get the guy's picture and they ruined a fun tradition which is really, really annoying. But anyway, let's continue on here. You can see these are these are up ground graves. Thank you, Mario and Andrew. Thank you. I really appreciate it. These are above ground tombs here. There is a really, uh, and he, you can see here, these are all underground tombs right here. Um, 1973 Ziggy Stardust. Oh, thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. So moving on, this is a really, I love this place. I especially love the catacombs, which are back behind these doors. And we might be able to actually see through the crack. I really want to do like an overnight thing here in the catacombs. Well, you, you really can't see here, the door's locked. But the church, when this was just a cemetery uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. Hold on. 
there I am. Uh, when this was just a cemetery, hold on, Andrew, I won't be out done. <laughs> thank you. Lori Miller, thank you. Okay, so when this was just a cemetery back in the day, when they built the church, they decided to build the church over the existing graves that were here already. So the church, they built it, and then that was is what created these... If I can get this thing to work. Oh my God, it's not working. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Uh, it created these catacombs. So that's why there are graves in there. And allegedly extremely haunted in here, inside of the catacombs in here. And I think, well, you can kind of see to the other side. You know what? We'll actually go over there and see if we can look in that window because that window is pretty clear over there. So we'll actually go over there. Wait a second. Is this not locked? Or maybe it's locked from the inside. I guess it's locked from the inside. Oh, that would be so cool to go in there right now. All right, uh, continuing on. I love this gate here. If you go outside of this gate on the other side, it's a very Egyptian style uh, carving on these on the outside of these these right here are the other side. There's this incredible Egyptian style. You can actually see the gate here has sort of the the the, the uh, Egyptian style vases and stuff. But the other side of this gate is gorgeous. Here's the Gilmore tomb, the Young tomb, and the Davies tomb. And look at how the tomb is built up here on the ground. It's just these two. So all the coffins and everything are inside of this area here which i think is so cool so let's continue on there's i i'm trying to do this kind of quickly because uh the cemetery is closing and i want to make sure i get show you guys what i want to show you so more tombs over here and this right here is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I think at one time this was on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, this is a carved, and I'm going to go over here. Oh, wait, here we go. Raised slabs mark a number of grave sites at Westminster, but none are garnered, none has garnered as much attention as this one. Once the subject of a Ripley's Believe It or Not, this gravity-defying piece of marble continues to fascinate. This slab was originally part of a lot belonging to William Matthews, a merchant and Revolutionary War veteran. So, you can see here, at that time, they had this piece here, and I, it's not, I don't think it's there anymore. I think this thing has been stabilized. But look, look at this. Is that not interesting? Now, I am sad to report the last time I was here, this was not here. So either some idiot sat on it and broke it in half, or it just fell naturally, but they probably... <laughs> Yeah, they put braces underneath of this thing to keep it together. What a shame. People are so stupid. And I know it was somebody sitting on the damn thing. Anyway, let's go and take a look at, in that window, I want to see if we can see in here. Look at this one little grave here. It's just in the corner. You can't even read it. Look at that. I'm assuming that window is 
Okay, it's on the other side of that. Over here, there's another tomb right there. Over here is where Poe was originally buried. And you can see they marked it. The original burial place of Edgar Allan Poe. And he was buried here on October 9th, 1949 until November 17th, 1875. Now at that time, and that's why now you see locks of hair of Edgar Allan Poe in collections. You'll see locks of his hair. You'll see a piece of the coffin. Those were collected when he was dug up and moved. How morbid is that? Um, all right, let's go back here. Because I want to find that window. Well, oh, this place is so cool. Uh, LL, thank you so much. Let me see here what you said. Oh, God. Guys, I'm so sorry. I, this is like... I'm trying to... Do this. Here's another grave here. This is a very old obelisk grave. Okay. Robert Smith... There's the Robert Smith tomb, William Smith. Okay, I'm trying to go back here. LL. Thank you so much, LL. That's really sweet. And Linda Youngman. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. Did I get everybody? Mario. Minaldi. Thank you so much. Benjamin Stevens, thank you so much. Okay. All right, let's continue on. Now, we can see a little bit into this window here, so we're in luck. Uh, Oh, Canton. Isn't that interesting? Huh. God damn. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this tomb. Now, see, this I could be interred in. I'm Poe, don't pay day. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm Poe until payday. I heard that, brother. Trust me. All right. Oh, look at what we have here. I think I'm going to put this up against the window. You guys can kind of see there's a grave right there. That's a, as best as I can do, but you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to get permission to go in here at some point and show you guys the catacombs. They're awesome and definitely something you all should see and probably enjoy. But this is one of my favorite, oh, excuse me. This is one of my favorite spots. Hi, Rebecca M. Thank you. This is one of my favorite spots in Baltimore to come and visit. It's so full of history and just so interesting. There's more graves over here. Are these also catacombs in here? Shit, I got sweat in my eye. Yeah, there are. There are graves in there. I've never been in this section. Look at that. Oh, this looks like a fun section. I want to get in here, too. Jesus, man. Talk about creepy. How'd you like to spend the night in there by yourself? Phew. 
here is a mother's grief. And, eh, Sarah gave birth to 10 children. Six of them died over a 12 year period. Four before their second birthday. Ugh, how terrible. Ugh, so sad. Mm -hmm. Where is she at? Oh, these, oh, these are all her children right here. Oh, my gosh. How terrible. Poor woman. Imagine, like, you know, you're a child. And, or you're a mother. You imagine just the devastation of losing one child. Can you imagine losing six? I mean, oh, my gosh. The poor woman. John Brown, where's Sarah at? It's not Sarah, where is she? Is this her over here? Or maybe she's here. Well, these are just initials marked on these graves here. Disney security, thank you, I appreciate it. Didier? Yeah, this is the funny thing is, I had no idea that there, look at this little gravestone here. Now that's probably a child in there that passed away. But look at the condition of the carving 1790 that was over 200 years ago i mean that is incredible and just because it hasn't been weathered there's no sun on it there's no rain on it because it's underneath of this uh little breezeway in the church so it's just in remarkable condition for its advanced age because usually when they're outside you know you can see the effects of this is around the same time period. You can see the effects of uh, weather and, and everything else taking their toll on these gravestones. So let's go look in this other... I saw a crack. I want to see if we can peek in. I didn't realize that this was like another... Oh, these pillars. I just love them. I'm glad they got them tied back because it looks like they could fall on you. Oh, see this here is the other. Now, I might be able to give you guys an un. Did you guys see anything in there? Well, there's a grave right there. That's a tomb. Now, if I did drop my phone, that would be a fun live feed for you guys to watch because you might see a ghost or some spirit drifting by, playing with my phone. Who knows? Um, all right, let's make our way back to the front of the burial ground. since we're probably, I don't want to get locked in here. Although, I don't know, that would be kind of fun. I would just plop myself down and stay here overnight. Ooh, my God, is my eyes are burning. Sorry, you guys. All right, let's... 
that's another, uh, back in the day, they probably, you know, that one's covered, but back in the day, they probably had these all open. It was just the gates and not the, uh, so it's sort of like, here I am kind of, hold on, I'm going to turn this around. Here I am trying, you know, showing you guys something a little bit different. Uh, Brody Connor, thank you. So you guys, a little, you know, because I'm always filming like, you know, these horrible, you know, houses that are destroyed and abandoned shit around town and the, uh, the ugly parts of town. And I thought, you know, this might be nice to kind of do this and show some of the fun stuff around Baltimore. Because it isn't a terrible city like it's portrayed in the in the media. I mean, there's a lot of bad stuff that happens here, but there's also a lot of cool stuff like this. This uh, particular place is just, it's amazing. Um, it's funny because I remember uh, back in the day I used to cater. I was a caterer. Andrew, thank you. And they have weddings in here all the time and I would I remember uh catering a wedding here and when everything was done uh we the the servers I was a server and me and the other servers were like let's go down in the catacombs and so the caretaker opened the door and let us go down into the catacombs and we were down there we were in there for a while and um, thank you, David. And it was, it was really creepy. It was like, uh, just creepy and, and crazy. And uh, so, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Um, I really, really want to get, oh God, my eyes are burning, you guys, I'm sorry. Simo Is that Simone? Ooh, spiders. Hold on, I'm trying to see this here. Uh, Simone, yes, I'm going to make a Leakin Park follow-up. Um, um, I'm going to do a live stream, a Leakin Park live stream this week. So if you got, and I'm going to show you some new stuff. If you guys want to see it, make sure you turn on your notifications because a lot of people like to watch this live and join in the chat, but they don't catch it till afterwards because they didn't have their notifications on. So make sure... And I'm not one of those people that's like, hit the like button and notify. And I, I'm not one of those people. But some people genuinely are disappointed they don't get to see everything live. So if you want to see it live, just go to the, I, I guess it's the main page or something, and press the, uh, the little bell thingy. Chris, uh, Christian, that's a good idea too. The, the uh, pagoda over at Patterson Park. See, I'd love to get inside these places. That's what I need to start setting up. And I also want to show you guys like the Bromo Seltzer Arts Tower. Um, we can go up to the top and look at the clock from the, the, you know, the rear of the clock. All kinds of things I want to do. So I just need to uh, set it up and make it happen. And, um, well, let me see what this is. I can't, this phone or this app or whatever is not doing its job very well. What's your cash tag? I don't even know what that is. What's a cash tag? Oh, Mark Tech, thank you. You're welcome. I uh, was happy the day I was introduced to Vaporwave myself. Let's see if we can't look in the window here. Oh, it's so dark. Eh, it's not worth it, but there's just that one. Look at, <laughs> Look at the one window back there, how creepy that looks. Yeesh. Oh my God, look at that. Um, so, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 
anyhow, um, I will eventually uh, call the college. I think it's uh, I think it's University of Maryland that actually is in charge of the church now. Uh, I will contact them and get access to the catacombs. Maybe we can do a night video in the catacombs. I'm sure they'll ask me for a, a donate, a large donation, but I wouldn't mind because it would be kind of fun. I, I did come years ago to a ghost hunt here with friends. I don't remember when it was, but, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't, uh, it, it must have been like 15 years ago, maybe. I'm so old. I'm so old, but young at heart. All right, let's go around the front of the church. You can actually see, let me see here. All right, let's, here we are at the front of the church. You can see in here, a bunch of graves in here. One in the back there, and a bunch right here. And, uh, John McDonough. Elizabeth McDonough. Oh, founder of the McDonough School. Isn't that interesting? They were a bunch of rich, very rich people. Believe it or not. Okay. There's a grave right here. Oh yeah, so you guys, if, uh, I know some of you, I was mentioning, um, doing an overnight at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. I think it would be a lot of fun. I'm trying, some people have already booked. I'm trying to plan it out. So just, just chill out for a minute. They haven't contacted me back yet. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. As soon as they do, I'll let you guys know. This is so sad. This one, this one always gets me. I don't know, it's just... Uh, this here is... Um, Sophie... Uh, Sophie Anderson. And the thing that always gets me is the the lamb, the lamb sculpture is so sad. Look at this, how sad that is. Oh, it always it's just so sad. And it's laying on a Bible. And it's a shame that it is in such disrepair. It needs to be conserved again. Uh, but it is just so sad. Oh, I, I can't, it's, I can't imagine. I cannot imagine having a child and losing the child to illness. What is this here? Thy will be done. Sophie Anderson died February 18th, 1861 age eight years and nine months. Uh, that's a depressing ending to this thing. Poor little baby. And you can see there's another little tomb right there as well. Who, who, who the hell's saying I'm 43? I am 19 years old. Don't get this shit twisted. 43. I'm a 19 year old raver. Don't even start. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, look, there's there's these girls taking pictures. She's got her Edgar Allan Poe book. See how people, they just kind of hang out here. So much fun. Such a cool spot. So one last look and then I'm going to walk back to my car. Here's the famous, uh, what do they call this, uh, uh, portrait, portrait plaque. So they say the gates close at five, but I guess uh, they're staying a little bit open. Now, one thing I brought that I'm gonna show you guys, although I'm mortified that I did bring this, but whatever. I can't even get it off my friggin' wrist. Hold on. See this grave right here too. All right, hold on guys. All right, do not judge me. I'll never do a live feed again. Uh, <laughs> so, in preparation for my Halloween film that I'm doing, it's a it's a, a scripted like featurette that I'm working on, and um, I have been buying these ghost hunting devices because we're, we want to incorporate them into the film. The film is about a couple that's haunted by ghosts and uh, it's going to be really scary. Trust and believe. I don't, I'm not going to make it like fun or cute. It's going to be fucking scary. I want everyone to be terrified and that is exactly what you will be. Even though you know it's a scripted movie, you'll see what I'm talking about. I just hope we can pull it off one time because I got a lot of shit going on. But anyway, I bought this. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, this is a, uh, what they call a spirit box. It basically, it, it scans through radio stations and then you ask a question and you're supposed to, you hear the voice say, oh, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to use it right now because there's, there's just too many people here and I don't feel like doing this. It's silly, but I thought it might be fun, but I don't feel like doing it right now. It's just, it's so mortifying, like using it when people are around, you feel so embarrassed that you're like into this hoo-ha bullshit. So that's why <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> that's <laughs> That's why I'm keeping it. Uh, I'm not going to be using it uh, on this particular expedition. Nothing against people who do believe in it. I will say though, we did use it. I, I mean, so far we've used it at Gettysburg and a couple other places. Only once would I say, okay, we got multiple responses at one time, but it's all like, this thing is all just coincidence. As far as I know, I mean, as far as I can see, it just seems like it's, coincidence you ask a name it's scanning through you know 100 fm channels or am channels and then you hear a name and you're like okay that's the person but regardless now watch i turn it on and it says this is poe do you know what i mean but yeah as far as that being a thing oh <laughs> sorry i just got a phone call i'm live again Andrew, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I guess I could do a ghost box post at some point, but man, it just feels so, I feel like a complete idiot doing it. Cause I see these channels that do it and I don't know, it's just, these channels, people are being attacked and chased by demons and the, people are being possessed. I mean, it's just so silly. It's all silliness. Just write a script and make a movie. It's much easier. Then you can do anything. You don't have to try to convince anyone because you've already made, 
your uh, your thing. I was just doing that, and a finger popped out of there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go down in the catacomb area. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> give him a little bit of fun. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, excuse me. Jeez. All right. So we've done the Poe House. I mean, not the Poe House. The Poe Grave. Um, interestingly enough, you see they have it marked. The Poe House that way. It's about, I think it's about five blocks that way. Uh, someone, and it's in a bad neighborhood, naturally. But I was, I saw on my Citizen app the other night that a gentleman got shot right by the, the Poe house. So, it's a violent summer in Baltimore. The violence never ends. It's a violent summer. I don't know what I, that would be a good song locally. Cause that's what it's gonna be, a violent summer. It's gonna be awful. Violence everywhere. Um, if you're not yet following me on Instagram, go over there at This Is Dan Bell, hold on. So, you might enjoy some of my photos. Of course, gotta watch another Dirty Room if you haven't seen it yet. We're, we are filming new episodes in July. With a surprise that you'll find out about. I'm praying that I don't have a parking ticket. Because I parked and did not get a, I didn't get a, I didn't pay. I wanted to rush over here. I wanna show you guys this building. Hold on. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. All right. Look at this. Oh, fuck. That was loud. I was like, oh my God. All right, hold on. Come on, turn around. Okay, there we go. All right. Here we have, I don't know what this building is. It's abandoned, obviously. Looks like they may be doing something inside. I love the front of the building. The blue, I believe that would be enamel, is still very crisp. This building is very old. It is connected to this building here, which is also a bando. They have this fence around it. I'm not really sure if they're going to uh, redo the whole thing. You can see they put netting up top there to thanks russell jennings you get you can see they put uh the netting up there to make sure if anything falls off it doesn't fall and kill somebody but 
man, I'd love to get in this building. I believe it was a bank at one time. I believe that's what it was originally. Uh, and you can see that old painted advertisement there. Oh, I did not get a ticket, FYI. So for those of you who were praying, praying for me to get a ticket, you lost, bitch. All right, let's see if we can't. Oh, this building is amazing. I love it. Let's see if we can get to the front here and see what they're doing. Obvious, they're either redoing this building or they are securing the perimeter so pieces falling off of it don't kill anyone. All right, we'll just cross, we'll just cross the street and go see since it is raining a little bit. All right, I'll show you guys downtown Baltimore and all its glory. Here we go. There's the Hippodrome right there. It's a beautiful theater. That was abandoned forever. And then they redid it. Now it's one of the premier uh, theaters on the East Coast. Beautiful. All right, let's go see what this building is. Oh, see, they got this here. Oh. Oh, I want to go in. Let me in. No free peaks. Oh, they better not be demonetize my video because of that damn music. All right, let's keep going. All right, you guys, I'm done. Damn. Oh, damn. Jesus, I almost got run over by a damn bus. Thank you all very much. You're so also kind. I'll come back later this week and we'll go back to Leakin Park. I actually, oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna show you. And you guys are gonna go, oh my God. It's gonna be really cool. It's in the woods. Not many people know about it. But as I said before, if you are missing these live feeds and you want to see them, you've got to press that stupid fucking bell or whatever it is. That every clown douche on YouTube is like, you've got to hit the like, the, you got to hit the bell. I'm going to get run over. Oh my God. But that's what you got to do. You got to push that thing. And I hate when people do this. You know, uh, oh, I, I can't stand this. Watch. Okay. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. And then they cut to the next scene. I fucking hate that shit. Oh, my God. I can't stand it. All my creams and everything that I put on are dripping out of my skin right now. 
and I'm waiting to find uh, seabirds actually caked to my neck in need of a dawn bath. That's how bad it is. I need air conditioning. Oh, oh, oh my God, I need the air. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, I'll see you back. Uh, Leakin Park later this week. Just follow me on Twitter or Facebook and I'll let you know when.